Hey guys, it's your buddy Icarus, and today I wanted to bring up something I saw that both Kisa and I found kind of funny. I really wanted her to be a part of this video because of the fact that she has more experience dating than I do, but she has kind of the reverse feelings about vlogging as I do, both with watching and with doing, because me, I find vlogs horribly boring to watch, but surprisingly feels so good to just be able to actually talk and finish my sentences I'm pretty much everyone I know uh, in person interrupts me half the time I'm talking <laughs> as far as watching vlogs though I yeah yeah I find them horribly to wa boring to watch but fun to do whereas she's the opposite way around she enjoys watching people vlogging but doesn't like doing it herself it's just she finds it boring to talk to the camera that being said, that's just the explanation of why, why Akisa is not in the video. And probably know why she's not going to be in too many vlog videos. However, on to the topic, uh, the actual topic I had for the video, which was the other day, after dropping Kisa off at work, and I stopped by Wendy's, not sponsored, just addicted, <laughs> They and while I was eating, I saw Teenage, well, what looked to me like a teenage couple. The guy said he was 21, so the, probably a young adult couple, and people are just looking younger to me because I'm starting to actually get old. <sighs> Yesterday was my birthday, and I, this probably won't be uploaded until tomorrow. Same with the video we recorded yesterday. But I digress. This couple... I could see before the, I even noticed the guy talking, before the guy even started talking, because I, 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 I wasn't eavesdropping, not intentionally anyway, <laughs> but I had nothing better to pay attention to. I saw the girl was showing obvious body language that she was interested. She was leaning in to the, toward the guy messing with her hair and reach and t and touching his hand it was on the table and stuff but despite the fact that the girl was already showing obvious signs of interest that could be picked up by a guy as dense as me I, I, I have I have a history of being horrible at catching body language <laughs> but despite the fact that even I caught obvious hints of in of the girl being interested in him without any kind of bragging or talking himself up. Shortly after I'd sat down I uh, to eat my own meal, I started hearing him talking endlessly about the con the concerts he'd been to, the games he's played, how he has dreams of being a pro gamer. By the way, those dreams are not very attainable. Their uh, pro gamer success is even lower than YouTuber success, which... I'm hoping for YouTuber success, but I'm not putting all I'm not putting all my eggs in that basket. <laughs> um, but yeah, he kept talking about all, about all this stuff to make himself sound cooler than he may have actually been. I mean, he might have it might he might it might be things that are actually kind of cool, but at the same time, it just seemed like he was trying way too hard to impress this girl and talk himself up in the whole conversation. And in my experience, that's actually how you lose interest. <laughs> the, uh, that someone's already invested in you. Because you make yourself out to be something much bigger and better than you actually are. And by the time they get to see your day-to-day -day life and realize it's not all this adventure, all this amazingness, then your de your house of cards just falls apart all around you. <laughs> so you could take this as dating advice, take this just as me talk just as me talking about how silly it seems that we work so hard to impress other people with things that may or may not be true about ourselves, but the main thing is that you just show a mutual interest in each other, and preferably some kind of mutual interest in something outside of each other, 
because if the interest is just in the other person, you're just trying to uh, just trying to get them to talk about themselves, then you are forcing them into that position where they've got to just talk themselves up, or where they gotta just come up with something to talk about, however bland their life might actually be. And the only people who would be interested in someone who whose only redeem whose only trait they they're showing is interest in the other person is if they're a total narcissist. Or if they are a lonely emo, lonely <coughs> And no social skills, really, t <laughs> person who would just take anyone who was the slightest bit interested in them, like, you know, I was as a teenager. Those are the two people who would take someone who shows nothing but interest in them and the fact that they're somewhat nice people. Now, on the other hand, with what I saw the other day with the guy bragging himself up, the only people who will take that <laughs> are the same lonely person that I was in high school as a teenager and people who just want someone to run their lives for them which I don't know if those people are actually out there there's a wide enough population with a lot of person diverse personality types so it's a very keenly possible that there are people out there who just want someone to take care of them and to make all their decisions for them, and that's basically, in my opinion, the personality type that would actually go for someone who is making themselves out to be all that in the bag of potato chips. That is a very dated reference that I don't even know the origin of. It was sometime in my parents' day. <laughs> you gotta strike some degree of balance there. Some degree of balance between talking about yourself but also showing interest in another person, and then the the clincher is at some point find a middle find something outside of each other that you are both interested in to tie you together. In the case of me and Kisa, it was video games. In the case of other people, it's like one friend of mine and a girl he dated for a while that eventually it fell apart. It was their mutual lack of having a life, and a pair of other people had set them up together. But they ended up falling apart because they had nothing to talk about, because neither of them have a life, and that is kind of sad. And not that I have that much of a life, with my main hobby being video games, the majority of my life is inside this computer in front of me. <laughs> Well, no, the majority of my life is invested in Kisa, but what is not invested in Kisa is, for the most part, either work or this computer in front of me. Um, but yeah, that's all I really had to say on it. I, I, Like I said, I wanted Kisa involved because she's had more experience. She might have actually had the experience of the girl who's who has a guy just trying to brag himself up to seem like he's the best thing in the world. People like, I mean, people it, that can impress people. Yes, it can. But the impressive, uh, impressiveness of it gets lost when you spend more time together and realize how bland life actually is, even with someone who claims to have such an exciting life. And also. Most people don't just want to be impressed by someone they're going out with, but they also want to have an opportunity to put some of themselves out there, too. To know that they're being acknowledged rather than just being talked at like... Eh. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> well, I don't got much more to say on that. Well, I don't think I got any more to say on that, so... I'm signing off on this video. Icarus is out. <sighs>